Yo YouTube, what is going on? Welcome back to the Jeep and Daily channel. How is everybody doing? It has been a while, it has been about a month since my last upload. My reasoning, well, one of my excuses for that is because this past month of July has been absolutely balls to the wall. Hot, humid, sticky, gross. It's unmotivated me to do anything on the weekends or after work. I've just been chilling in the AC. Um, so that's why I haven't tried to do anything, any Jeep content within the past month. It's starting to cool down a little bit, but we're not going to stay inside this whole time. We're going to go outside and walk around the Jeep and talk a little bit, but I need your guys' help. All right, so if you guys are new to the channel, this is my 95 Jeep XJ. Obviously, um, it is a five-speed manual, which is part of what we're going to talk about today, but just a quick background on the jeep it is 355 axle swap so it's got automatic jeep axles in it if you did not know the five speeds come factory with 307 gear ratios so we just swapped in 355 axles out of an auto jeep the rear is welded it is sitting on a four and a half inch rough country lift um with fixed lower control arms and stock upper control arms and in the rear there is a shackle and a three and a half inch rubicon express full leaf pack for tires we are running 33 by 1250 pro comp mud terrains with i believe these are also pro comp wheel i got them on a facebook deal for 200 bucks but that's a quick rundown of the jeep obviously four liter sport um but yeah basically what I want to talk about in today's video and what i need your guys' help with is my floor slash heat situation so as you can tell there's a little bit of rust we did patch these front floors um we're not completely done yet with the front as you can see like i said there's a couple holes um let me open this so Everything from here up has been patched, except this spot, really. I mean, somebody at one point in time replaced the rear floor, and the sign just got rotted away. So I don't know if we're going to do too much there, if we're going to fix it. But everything from under the back seat to the very back is still untouched. Obviously, there's mud. I take it off-road still. Is this unlocked? Oh, I don't know if you guys can see right there those are short arms so if you're in the market for a short arms they came with the axles on a four and a half inch lift now i was going to use the short arms i didn't use the lift i sold the lift but now i'm selling the short arms i decided i'm not going to use them whatever i don't really need them so if you're close to the lancaster county pennsylvania area i am selling these short arms hit me up on instagram i will put it up on the screen because i'm not really too sure what my instagram name is at this point so yeah, if you're interested in them, D shoot me a DM on Instagram if you guys are interested with the offer. Um, I have everything it, you need to just install the short arms, like upper and lower. They're adjustable short arms and the brackets that tie into your unibody and um, cross member here for your transfer case and transmission. So that's enough of that. Let's get into my issue here. So if you have a five speed, um, Cherokee, I don't know. I'm assuming it's the same for Wranglers. It might not be as bad, but if you have a five-speed Cherokee, you know what I'm going to be talking about here. The five-speeds do not have a transmission cooler. The automatics do. So my problem is that this gets so hot after five minutes of driving on a, any day over, I'd say, 60 degrees, you can feel the heat coming through. Now, yes, there is holes that has nothing to do with it. Even with the carpet in before, you could still feel the heat. That's why I have the sweatshirt here. It blocks off the hole from the e-brake and stuff. It helps a little bit, but now that the carpet is out, it does not help at all. Now, a solution, I could just throw a carpet back in here, but that's probably, that would just take too much time and it's not going to fix the problem completely. So my question is for you guys, what do you suggest I do to fix my heat issue here now i don't know if there's like a coating i could put under or over or 
under and over. I don't know if I can wrap something around this. I don't know what I can do here to fix this issue. Now, you guys may think AC will work, but my Jeep's AC does not work. I do plan on getting it fixed, but that's not going to help the issue that this transmission still puts off a lot of heat. And by a lot of heat, I'm telling you guys, even on a 70 degree day where you think you would not sweat, your back will be sweating after about five to 10 minutes of driving in this Jeep. Just imagine driving on a day that's like July, like the month of July, where it was almost 100 degrees, if not 100 degrees, every single day of that month. And we're still getting peaks of 100 degree days here and there. It's not too bad now. The humidity's kind of dropping off. We're just getting those lower to mid 90 days and high 80 days. But just imagine driving it on those days. It's absolutely miserable. Nobody wants to be in this Jeep. I don't even want to be in this Jeep, but I love it too much to sell it. It's just the big issue here is that this gets so hot and puts off so much heat. I just found my Street Speed 717 sunglasses that I've been looking for. They're a little dirty. They might be scratched up. I'm going to take these inside and wash them. Sweet. So guys, that's just basically like a quick video I wanted to make. I figured if I put this out on the internet, or on YouTube at least, a few hundred people might see this video. I know some of you guys that watch my videos every time I upload them will be able to help me. So if you can, also DM me on Instagram if you have a solution or put it down in the comment section. And like I said, I have the short arms for sale, so you can comment down below. We can get in contact that way, or you can hit me up on Instagram. I will try to put it in this video more than once, and also put it in the description of this video. Now for the rest of August, it is now August, August 2nd. So if you guys are unaware, at the end of August, the last weekend of August, there is a thing in Ocean City, Maryland called Jeep Week, if you've never heard of it. Um, it's just as it sounds. It's specifically an event for jeeps they do a beach crawl this year there is a beach off-road course and they do a regular off-road course and there's obviously some other stuff i can do at the convention center down there but i will be participating in jeep week i'm not putting my jeep in the show and shine but i will be doing the beach crawl the beach off-road course and the off-road course if you guys are going to be there comment down below let me know we can look out for each other we can cruise on the beach and the line together we can off go to the off-road day together or whatever we can hang out it'll be cool it'll be a fun time down there um so be looking forward to those videos at the end of august for a jeep week but throughout august i'm going to try and finish some rust fixing some of this rust stuff try getting some little modifications going on in the jeep i need to know like i have this dummy cluster in here i would like to know at least how hot my jeep's running and that's all I really care about is just my Jeep temperature. I don't really care for anything. I don't really care for anything else that the Jeep doesn't show me already. I'd also like to get the AC going and potentially set up a way to take these doors off easy and put them back on easy. So I got some stuff planned out that I want to get done before Jeep week. So be looking out for these videos in, for, throughout the month of August. But one last time, guys, if you're looking for short arms, I have some available. I have everything that's needed. I might not have all the nuts and bolts. I don't know. Um, but if you're looking for short arms for an XJ, hit me up. Like I said, give me an offer, whatever. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button down below. If you guys have any questions for me, put them in the comment section down below. I can answer them in the comment section or in a video. Also, if you have any suggestions on how to fix my heat issue what i can do to tamper it down make it not as bad let me know if you have any suggestions or things you want to see on the channel let me know that also we are a growing channel i would like to do lots of exciting things with more than just an xj in the future so let me know what you guys want to see on the channel if you enjoyed this quick little update video make sure you guys give this a thumbs up if you did not dislike this video leave a thumbs up anyways but yeah, guys, this is the Jeep and Daily channel. I will see you next time whenever we do something Jeep-related. Peace out.